The Palestinian government has expressed displeasure over its described as jungle law being implemented by the United States government. The Palestinian ambassador to Nigeria says that the U.S. has continued to support Israeli forces in the genocidal war against Palestinian people. The ambassador, while speaking to newsmen in Abuja, urged the international community to investigate and uncover secret prisons where about 7,170 Palestinians have been detained in the last four months by the Israeli forces. The United States vetoed a Security Council resolution demanding an immediate ceasefire of Israeli war against the Palestinian people. This marks the third time the United States has vetoed such a resolution. The United States is insisting in implementing jungle law that will spare no one. The Palestinian presidency condemned the U.S. move, accusing it of giving additional green light to Israel to continue its genocidal war. It is stressed that this policy make the United States a partner in the crime of genocide, ethnic cleansing, and war, war crime committed by the Israeli occupation force against the Palestinian in the Gaza Strip and the West Bank, including Jerusalem. It is time for bold international intervention to uncover the secret deten detention centers that were established after October 7th. Qadura Faris, the head of the prisoners, and ex-Prisoners Affairs Authority sent an appeal to the international community urging it to break. It is silent and take immediate actions to uncover the secret prisons and detention centers. In the occupied West Bank, 7,170 Palestinian detainees have been held since October 7. Up to today, including 215 women, 430 children, 52 journalists, and 30,574 administrative detainees. There are no accurate number for the detainees in Gaza, and there is, there is, there is a little information about them. We call on the ICRC, International Committee of Red Cross, to uphold its mandated duty, duties in according with international law and visit the Israeli prisons and deten detention centers for to verify the inhuman and miserable situation that the prisoners are subjected to. The Biden administration is preparing to send the bombs and other weapons to Israel that would add it to its military arsenal, according to the current and former U.S. officials. The proposed armed delivery, including roughly 1,000 each of bomb, joint direct attack munition, and bomb fuses. The officials said the arms are estimated to be worth tens of millions of dollars. If this is not complicity, then what is the complicity?